everybody this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish so I'm trying something a little bit different today um, something I've been wanting to try uh, but the conditions just haven't been right uh, but boy are the conditions right today so those of you who live in Texas um, you know Louisiana Oklahoma Arkansas even Missouri uh, you know what I'm talking about here we had a really big storm come through last night uh, now those of us here in the Houston area you know we were spared the worst of it um, which, you know, I think you would agree that, you know, Houston deserves, you know, a couple misses uh, after the last couple years. But um, what it has left behind is uh, a lot of wind, uh, some colder weather, uh, but otherwise really beautiful day. Um, now, the wind is high enough that I did not want to go and mess with the big boat on the main lake or even put the kayak here in on the north end of the main lake just because I don't really feel like fighting that wind. Um, so what I'm doing um, is I have come in and put into this ditch and as you can clearly see behind me this is a ditch um, this runs through the community here uh, but it runs down and it intersects with um, one of the big creeks that runs through the community here and if you've watched some of my previous videos uh, that is the creek that I fish the mouth of occasionally where it dumps into the main lake so I'm gonna be starting on the upper end this time and working my way down to uh, to the mouth. Um, my plan is to get down this ditch, hopefully. Um, I, I scouted out enough this morning to know that I could get in to this ditch. There's a little concrete um, ramp back there. I think it's just the end of kind of a ditch that runs across the golf course here that's to my left. Um, so that made it very easy to get in, but now the question is, is this thing gonna be deep enough uh, to get me into the main channel um, and then from there, I should be okay to get out at least to the main lake, although I'm not going into the lake. Um, along the way, once I get into the main channel, I'll be uh, scouting things out with sonar, try to find some scour holes, cut banks, shallow points, etc. Look for some activity on the sonar. Um, the other thing that this weather has brought us, of course, is runoff. So you can see how muddy this is right here. So we've got a lot of runoff coming from the community. Now we can get a ton of rain, maybe uh, just under two inches according to my rain gauge at home. Um, so, but all that water's, you know, funneling through the neighborhoods, coming down to this creek. Uh, my hope is that it's going to create some activity here where all this warmer water is coming in. Uh, maybe I can find some bait, um, and where they'll, where there's bait, hopefully there'll be some game fish. So, um, like I said, this is going to be a bit of an adventure. Uh, my plan is to go all the way down to the mouth, scoping spots out, and then work my way back from the mouth, fishing those spots as I go. Now, if I come across a spot that is just too, uh, too enticing to pass up, I will stop and drop some lines. Um, but we're just going to see how it goes. It's, it's just coming up on 1.30, so I've got a solid four hours uh, to fish here. Uh, definitely want to give myself plenty of time to get out um, of the boat, so I don't want to get back up here right at sunset. So I'll give myself plenty of time, because um, you know, it was about a 10-minute walk from where I had to park. Uh, you know, not too bad, but, you know, after four hours or whatever, that, that's going to be a, a tougher walk. So that's what we're doing today. Um, and my hope is that at a minimum, um, I can navigate this ditch and creek. I'm already feeling myself hit the bottom a little bit here, but I can navigate this, find a few good spots. This gives me another option of, thing, of, of a way to fish when it's super windy, because uh, that's what it is today. And as you can see here, I got no wind. So this is going to be great. Um, so hopefully... We're going to catch some fish and I'm going to get to show you those. But like I said, the main goal here today is to explore. Call it a little Lewis and Clark um, edition here. So hopefully I'll be back with you soon. Okay, so the rest of the trip down this ditch was pretty uneventful. There was a spot right there uh, that I had to navigate some rocks. But you know, for the most part, the ditch I was in good shape. I didn't have any problems. Uh, you can see right here I'm coming out into the main channel. Um, you know, cruising down the creek, coming up on the golf course there, you can see to the screen on the right, you know, found a few scour holes, a few eddies and things like that, that I did some circles and tried to check the sonar, but you know, never found anything, uh, that blew my socks off to make me stop. So I just continued on down uh, a few more cypress stumps that were sticking up, uh, that would kind of circle around and check behind for any action, a few down limbs and things like that. But, uh, you know, got down here to the, to the mouth and, Went ahead and got myself turned around and set up to uh, try some fishing. All right, y'all. So I have reached the mouth of the creek, as you can see behind me. 
uh, you know, the trip down here was, you know, it was pretty uneventful as far as um, any, any hazards or anything. I had one little area up in that ditch where I had to navigate some uh, riprap, um, but I was able to get around it. Uh, you know, just a few rocks and some concrete and stuff that had been thrown in around a culvert. Uh, other than that, it was, it just got wider and wider and deeper and deeper until I got to the main creek here. Uh, and then cruise down and there was a big pine tree laying across at one point but there was room to get around it not only structure wise but a little bit of activity so I'm gonna kind of make my way back up here um, stop at each spot maybe 15 20 minutes give it a try if I get into something I'll stick around um, the irony here is the wind that we do have today coming out of the northwest is actually blowing like directly down this creek so there's actually quite a bit of wind um, along with what current is coming from the from the runoff so it should be a problem um, certainly not anything like i'm going to encounter out the main lake but it's making it interesting i'm basically idling right here by by paddling not moving very much. Um, so I'm going to come right back up here. I'm actually going to start in the spot that I normally fish. Uh, this little scour hole that sets right here. It's a little choke point uh, that you may have heard me talk about before. Uh, looks good. Again, structure-wise, if you don't see any activity there, uh, we'll drop some lines down uh, and we'll see what uh, might be working. i got enough wind here that I'll be able to drop my anchor and be right back up on the point and let it blow me back down uh, the drop off the hole. So, um, that's what we're going to do, and uh, hopefully we're going to be fairly productive here. But again, the, the main purpose of this trip was to explore, and, and uh, at this point I've done that, so now I'd like to catch some fish. So, here we go. Couple different snags and a couple repositionings with that anchor. Um, finally got a fish in the boat. Uh, not much to him, maybe 12 inch, little channel cat. Um, but like I said, I finally got myself positioned here out far enough away from this bank and, and to where I've got enough room to swing back and forth. I also shortened my anchor rope length so I would have less swing there. Um, and as soon as I did that, I mean, it was, that was about three minutes that I hooked up on that. So. Um, I'm going to set here another five or ten minutes, see, see what else I can't get into, and then I'm going to start working my way back up. It's almost three o'clock, so that gives me a little over two hours, depending on you know how close to sunset I want to get uh, to get back up and through that ditch and, and out of the water. So I'm not skunked, fishing the boat. Um, now that I'm positioned, maybe I can get on something else. Fish number two, just a slightly larger version of the last one. There's definitely some signals down in there though, but this is probably all that it is. I'm going to give this another five or ten minutes and I'm going to start hitting those other spots up the creek. Um, but okay, at least we're catching fish. And the irony is this pole back here on my back left has been getting snagged the most because it's getting the most movement as, as the boat moves around. And so it keeps getting up on that, uh, right up that slope, right on top of it. But the irony is that when it does drop back down off of that little drop off and doesn't get snagged, it catches a fish. Because I think the fish are laying kind of right on that, uh, that drop off. So, you know, it either gets snagged or it catches a fish. 
So that was about it as far as catching fish. Uh, I started moving up the creek to hit these other spots. I tried to do a little dragging right here through this deep hole, but boy, was that a mistake. I ended up getting one of the biggest snags I've ever got out here. Uh, you can see even at fast speed the trouble I had breaking off this 30-pound test on a 100-pound you know, log or whatever. I finally got it out, but you know, went ahead and cut my losses there and just headed up. I hit a few more spots, got a few bites, but never, um, never hooked up into anything. Uh, so I just eventually called it and headed back up uh, towards the ditch. So um, it was disappointing as far as fishing, but, you know, I did it. I tried the ditch. I got out there. It's something I could definitely do maybe in the spring uh, and once the water levels get back up. So that was really all I had today. I wish it was more exciting, but uh, hopefully we'll get out soon and uh, we'll see you again. Oh, baby, too much attention. Not enough attention, but you're going to be. You better come to your senses.